The intensity of the fighting in the Kherson region continues to increase. With the intensity of the clashes in Avdivka slightly decreasing, the clashes on the eastern bank of the river in Kherson increased, while the Russians began to suffer a lot of losses in the region. The inability of Russian forces to hold and control the eastern bank of the river has caused concern in the Kremlin and Russian commanders. Russian commanders in charge of the region are constantly subjected to harsh criticism. At the annual forum, Vladimir Putin said that he had personally ordered the high command to address the situation and allow the Ukrainians to enter the area. Putin tried to belittle the success achieved by Ukraine. Putin called it a great success, claiming that the Ukrainians had lost dozens of their soldiers, while only a few Russian soldiers had been wounded. However, what Vladimir Putin said did not reflect the truth. Publicly available footage shows that the Russian losses of heavy equipment were about 150, while the losses of personnel were in the thousands. In this case, what Putin said is completely wrong, because these numbers are almost equivalent to the amount of heavy equipment lost by the Russians at Avdivka which shows that the Ukrainian operations have significantly weakened the Russian offensive capacity. Madiar had also published a large number of combat images showing how they have destroyed one Russian assault unit after another over the past 10 days. The Ukrainian army has destroyed a large number of Russian equipment in the region. Most recently, the Ukrainian army managed to destroy the heavy thermobaric artillery system TOS-1. In addition, two tanks and two armored vehicles were reportedly destroyed by the Ukrainian army in the region. What do you think about the developments in and around Kherson? Do you think Ukraine won a clear victory here?